Okay, today we're going to talk about powers to powers. Our learning objective is I can raise a power to another power. So let's take a look at an example, what we mean by power to a power. That means that we are taking one power and raising it to another power. And what this means is that we are going to multiply three to the second four times. Now it'll look like this. Three to the second multiplied by itself four times. And then if you expand each one of those, we end up with three to the eight. Three to the second times three to the second times three to the second times three to the second is three to the eighth power. Let's take a look at this one. Same thing, four to the fifth means you're multiplying four to the fifth two times. So we have four to the fifth here, we have four to the fifth here, and that would be four to the tenth. Three squared to the third power means we are multiplying this three times, one, two, three, and then expanding each one, and we end up with three to the sixth or 729. Same thing works for variables. Because a variable just represents some number. A to the squared to the fourth power means, again, A squared four times. And then expand each one. And you get A to the eighth power. And then c to the third, to the third power is, again, c to the third multiplied together three times, and we would get c to the ninth. This is to the fourth power. I don't know why that's not showing up. Um, negative y to the second to the fourth power means we're going to multiply negative y to the second four times. So negative y to the second, repeatedly multiplied four times, and then negative y to the second, remember the negative here is also squared, so you're going to multiply negative y times negative y. So that's this one. There's negative y times negative y. And there's negative y times negative y. So we have eight negatives. So that's going to end up to be a positive. Because those two, negative times negative is positive. Negative times negative is positive. Negative times negative is positive. And again, and we end up with all positive. Okay, next one, we have negative 2 to the third to the second power. Got lots of examples here. That means negative 2 to the third power, negative 2 to the third power. So we end up with neg uh, positive 2 to the sixth. This one is in the last video. Since both of these are in parentheses, so this is a good reminder, that means both of those are raised to the second power. So we have 5 to the 4th times 5 to the 4th because we're raising that to the second power. We can rewrite the multiplications in a different order. 5 times 5 times 4 times 4, which is 5 squared times 4 squared. And notice we can't do anything else with this. We cannot combine these powers because they have different bases. Now let's take a look at this one. This one's different. We have negative six to the third power raised to the third power. So that means this is raised, multiplied by itself three times. So negative six y to the third negative 6y to the third times negative 6y to the third. Now, 
here, we have a negative times a negative is a positive. So this is going to be a positive times a negative ends up with negative. So negative times negative times negative gives us negative and then 6 times 6 times 6 gives us 6 times six, 3 6 is multiplied together. And then y to the third is here, this y to the third is here, this y to the third is here. So we end up with negative 6 to the third y to the third. And if you multiply 6 to the third out, you would get 216. Okay, so let's do a quick summary. That's out of the way. When a power is raised to another power, we are repeatedly multiplying the first power by itself the number of times as the second power. So this is what we're multiplying. That's how many times we're multiplying it by itself. So we would have x squared times x squared times x squared, which is x times x times x times x times x times x equals x to the sixth power. Okay, so remember, you've got the power, guys. You can do this. And if you have any questions, you can call, text, email, or look me up on Instagram. Dr. K. Hughes. That's all, folks. I'll see you in the next video.